Good afternoon. Before I begin, I'd like for all of you to participate with me in a little experiment. I'm going to count down from five, and during that five count, please think back some of your earliest memories. Maybe your first haircut, the first you ever went to school, anything of that sort. Now I'm going to count. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now that you still have that image in your mind, please compare that person that you just saw with the person that saw you in the mirror this morning. Are you taller? Do you style your hair differently? Point is, you've changed. These are the changes that you notice, even though they're the smallest changes that you go through. The biggest changes you go through uh, by far is your responsibility. You've gained responsibility. You've gained responsibility. Now, responsibility goes with age. The, more, the older you get, the more of it you have. For some of the speakers, or most of the speakers that you saw earlier today, they might be responsible for their studies, picking a university, or maybe some of them a vehicle or a part-time job. While all these responsibilities are great, they're simply not enough, because they don't consider the rest of the world. And we all need to start considering the rest of the world now before it's too late. The great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, there comes a time when silence is betrayal. This is that time. Our failure to recognize uh, the changes that we're going through in our world would not only be betraying ourselves, but also the, the generations that are going to come after us. For, like, is that going after us? People throughout history have fought many battles. Um, 40 years ago, one of those battles was the polio disease. They fought their battle and they won, which is why now we are able to, to reap the fruits of their labor and get vaccinated for polio. What was then a major battle is now a basis of our modern healthcare. So if every generation has a battle, then what's ours? It's unfortunate for us that our battle is against time, which is a very difficult villain to fight because it can be cured by no doctor, no medicine, nothing can cure time. Time, as Albert Einstein once said, is an illusion. It's the most difficult thing in the world to find, yet somehow the most abundant resource in the world. And time is something that we simply do not have. United Nations scientists have uh, stated that it's only 10 years until global warming truly starts to take effect. 10 years might seem like a long time from where we are sitting now, but in, in, in the real life, it's just a blink of an eye, the snap of a finger. It's really not as much time as you may think. So we must act now. So if anyone's if anyone who's hearing, anyone that's hearing this message, please get involved. If you're an educator, get young people involved in things like astronomy and mental health. We're going to need more of them, and studies have shown that only 11% of students go into, those, go into such fields. Um, get them involved because these are, these are the things that are going to define our generation. Just like the moon landing defined the 60s. Just like the dawn of the age of information defined the 90s. This is our time. It's time for me and you and you, and you, and all of us. So we must get involved. We've watched the great big book on human history be written and rewritten over and over and over again. Now, it's, now more than ever, it's time for us to take the pen. It's time for us to author history. Thank you.